1800 years ago, a messenger arrived at the royal palace bearing a letter addressed to the city's queen. How, O Zenobia, hast thou dared insult Roman emperors? asked the Roman emperor Aurelian of Palmyra's queen. 200 years after defeating the Egyptian queen Cleopatra, Rome found itself waging war against another woman, but this time she was an Arab. Zenobia was no Hollywood desert queen riding out of a sandstorm with a Bedouin tent for shelter. She came from a complex civilization which flourished in what is today the Syrian desert. She is part of a strong tradition of pre-Islamic independent queens who rode into battle at the head of their armies. Widowed young, she managed to get rid of all opposition to her rule and established a court known for its intellectual brilliance, material richness and religious tolerance. In her brief time in the limelight, Zenobia's ambition swept through the ancient Middle East, conquering all before her, from Iraq in the east to Egypt in the west. But her star could not rise forever. Finally, her armies were no matched for seasoned Roman legions under the canny leadership of Emperor Aurelian. Aurelian, being a man of his time, was not happy at the thought of defeating just a woman and thought that in the years to come, it would not be to his credit to have done so. He emphasized at length the amazing qualities of Zenobia, a woman perhaps, but what a woman. So brave, bold and daring, prudent in counsel, firm in purpose. There is a figure in Arab legend called Zeba, a beautiful, wily warrior who leads her troops to victory. Perhaps she is based on the real-life Zenobia, whose courage, intellect and instinct for survival dared Roman emperors, making her an Arab warrior queen unlike any other. <laughs>